Hey everyone, this is Jen over at jenscrappypages.blogspot.com and today's project is this really cute belly band card that I made over the weekend and couldn't wait to show you how I put it all together. Um, I got the idea from an older card that I had made using a Cricut cut and as I was going through some of my older cards I ran across it and I thought well why couldn't I do that with the uh, layering circles framelits so that was my mission and I, I think I accomplished it um, so this is it isn't that chick just the cutest it's from the hey chick it just in case you haven't seen it I know it's really popular out there um, it is in the celebration catalog and can be yours free with a $50 purchase. So, all right, well, let's get to the details, uh, the supplies I used and the paper I used, and let's get to assembling. All right, I'm gonna set this aside up here. <clears throat> so we are going to use the watercolor pencils that are in the occasions catalog. And of those, we'll be using the Real Red, the Early Espresso, and the Old Olive. And then we're going to use the uh, Hexagon Embossing Folder, um, which, oh my goodness, I just love this thing. So, okay. Anyways, um, the Layering Circles Framelits dies, and we're going to be using these over here. Uh, of course, the Hey Chick. Um, and we're going to be using this little guy here, although these two are cute too and would fit in the same circle. And then the Thankful Thoughts stamp set that is in the annual catalog. Every time I go through that annual catalog, this stamp set has always jumped off the page at me saying, buy me, buy me. So I finally broke down and did it and I just absolutely love it. I uh, send a lot of thank you cards. so. That, oh, and then um, the sentiment that we're going to be using, um, I think it's, I don't know, I think it's this one here. So, and then we're going to be putting thanks on the inside of it, one of these things. And then the uh, succulent garden, three eighths of an inch, whisper white ribbon. Love this stuff. That's in the occasions catalog. And the Delicate white doilies. This is the first time I've gotten them out and played with them, and I'm pretty certain it won't be the last. And then for ink, I used early espresso and basic black to stamp my bird. And for paper, you're gonna need a four and a quarter by eight and a half and score it at four and a quarter. And a three and a half by three and a half, which I put my uh, scallop circle on. And then five eighths of an inch by nine and a quarter. And then you'll need a piece of crumb cake cardstock, a four by four. Old olive cardstock, three and a half by three and a half real red cardstock and you'll need two of these three by three for your circles a one and a half by nine and a quarter for your belly band and uh whisper white three and three quarters by three and three quarters for the inside of the card so you can stamp a sentiment on it and then you're going to need a uh, another piece of whisper white a three by three so you can make your circle and then the shimmer white cardstock three by three uh, so we can color on the chick the whisper white just makes it a lot um, nicer for the water coloring so let's get to the um, big shot push this stuff out of the way pull out our handy dandy big shot and then we are going to try to cut these all on the same. Oh, maybe not. That was a good idea, but 
it's not gonna work that way. So we'll cut these two first. You're gonna need the large scallop and then your largest of the circles. And then you're gonna take your Whisper White and your Real Red. Whisper White <clears throat> is gonna be the smallest. And then this one's gonna be the next. And remember, you're gonna cut two of these and you're gonna cut one of these in Whisper White and one of these in the Shimmer White. And then as long as we have the big shot out, I'm going to switch out plates and we're going to run the uh, embossing folder through. Now I've seen this technique done a couple different times um, on some of the videos that I've watched, but um, I still kind of like getting a little bit of the embossed edge for the um, kind of chicken wire look. So we're going to use the back side of the embossing. So I guess the debossed side. And let me get a piece of scratch paper under here. So for this one, you can use a brayer to go over it if you would like. Um, but I'm just going to use my stamp pad and just kind of brush it over the top. There. And that's all you need to do for that piece. And then as long as I have my ink pad out, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment on the center of this circle. There. And then I'm going to grab out the piece that we're going to be putting on the inside of the card. And I normally don't do sentiments on the inside, um, but I thought this one kind of needed it. Just gonna stamp it right there. Move my ink out of the way, and then I'm just gonna fold this down. And as I've said in my other videos, um, a lot of people will score theirs, but I swear every time I score it, so I don't have to just fold it down. It ends up wonky somehow. Um, so I have better control over it when I just score it. And then I, I like to flip my card up so I have just a flat surface to work on. Um, otherwise, when you have it folded, the top part kind of wants to come up and I hate fighting with that. So, so we're just gonna go ahead and take this down. And you'll have to excuse my fingernails. I don't know if you even noticed it now that they're sitting out here in front. Um, I tried growing my nails out and this is what I get. They all broke just off at the quick. So now I have to, you know, redo them. Let's go ahead and put this one down too. Put that here in the middle. And then you'll have a nice piece of white cardstock to write your note on to whoever you're sending this to. Now we're going to put the doily down, just a little bit of in the center. And that'll go just right here. So we're just basically going to build this card um, and do the belly band at the very end. So that'll go there. And then I'm going to put my scallop circle in the center of that. And I have to confess, initially I didn't have this scallop circle in here. Um, and then I ran across my doilies and I thought, oh, that would just 
kind of finish it off, just make it pop. Um, you know, and one thing I just realized, I used crumb cake cardstock on my um, card, on my original card, but then this one, um, I used the early espresso. I don't know, we'll have to see when it's done, which one I like better. I almost like the early espresso. Huh. Happy accident, right? That's what I like to call them. Oh, I didn't even show you the inside of this. Oh my goodness. See, this is what we're doing. We're, we're going to build this inside right here. Kind of cute, huh? So they pull it off and there's your sentiment. So let's put this on. It looks like it's a complicated card, but it really isn't. It's just a matter of kind of putting all the layers on and and then we're going to just stick this down. Like so. And then we're going to fold this up. And I'm going to take my real red. And um, what I did was I just centered it and then fold it over the edges. I tried to score it, but my score lines were off a little bit. If you would like to try to score it, um, it's approximately two and a half inches from the end, but I just found that this worked just as good just to fold it, um, fold it down over the edge. And then that way you get a nice grip on your um, card too, so your belly band doesn't fall off. So then I'm going to go ahead and adhere this. And you know what? I think I'm just going to take a little bit of fast fuse over it just to make sure it stays. And just line up your edges here. Like so. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your... Um, I think I might slide this back over this just so I have a little more stability. And it'll go, you just kind of have to finagle this back up. That way at least I know it's a tight, tight squeeze and it won't fall off. So now I'm gonna take, I might just go ahead and put this on the back side of it, maybe, if I can get my fast fuse to work. Okay, there. I'm going to do the same for this one. Just kind of center it here. And then I'm going to fold in on both sides. So that way it gives a nice fold. And then adhere it to the back. Let's grab our ribbon. And for this, I'm just gonna get just enough to be able to wrap around. Hopefully I left myself enough room. And we're gonna tie a knot. You could do a bow too, but I just felt like a knot was sufficient for this one. I guess maybe just being lazy. I don't know. You'll want to move that over a little bit. And just cut off the ends, even that out. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your old olive circle. And for this one, um, I popped it up and I wanted it in the center. So I'm just going to put these little dimensional elements on either side of the um, really espresso cardstock band. Like so. And then, excuse my dog barking. Not sure who's walking by the house right now. I guess at least I know I'm secure, huh? And that he's just barking away. 
All right. So the reason I did it this way is because I just want to make sure that my um, that my cardstock is centered on that little scalloped edge, like so. And then we're going to take our other real red, and we're going to put that on top. Like this. Look at how cute that's coming along. Okay. And now we're going to set this aside and we're going to go ahead and I guess I didn't really intend to cut that into a circle at first. So this should make it kind of fun um, stamping on it. I was just going to stamp it and then cut it, but hopefully I can get it right. <clears throat> Always makes me nervous. Perfect. Woo -woo. <clears throat> Love it when that happens. All right. So now we're just gonna, I'm just gonna kind of color in his legs. And I'm going a little bit heavier with this um, because when you go to use the blending pen, it kind of takes some of the color away. And then for his body, I kind of went heavy right where these little kind of feather thingies are. Just really put a nice layer of pencil down. And then, um, and then just kind of lightly laid down some color around it. And we'll blend it in um, with the blending pen afterwards. So just like that. And then uh, in his hair, I just kind of chose some different little strands to color the green. Just kind of picked a few and really no rhyme or reason to it, to be honest with you. Just whatever was sticking up. Maybe get this one down here. And then... I hope you can see that. It looks kind of far away from my screen. And then again on this one, I just kind of laid it down pretty thick. Because it washes out pretty good when you um, start using that blending pen. Again, as I have stated probably too many times. So there's that, and I'm not being, you know, extra careful with my coloring. Okay, I'll show you what that looks like up close. Now I'm just going to take my blending pen, and we're just going to start blending it so you don't see, and I just kind of go in a circular motion. It's not working out exactly as I plan. Kind of wipe this off a little bit. Okay, and then let's get the hair. Get this over here. <clears throat> and then I'm just wiping this, my blending pen off get that green off before I start with my red. I'm not that great with um, coloring, to be honest with you. So I just kind of, I'm not good with the highlighting and the, you know, shading and everything. So I kind of have maybe the coloring skills of a five-year-old. <laughs> but he's colored in, and he's cute, and hopefully your recipient will not care whether it looks like a five-year-old or a professional. That is good enough for me, and then I forgot one thing was 
I colored his beacon orange. So let me grab that out quick. And this is pumpkin pie. So I'm just gonna color it in. I don't think I'm even gonna use the blending pen because I kinda like that darker orange. So he's good to go. Bring my card back over and just lay him down here. And that, my friends, is your completed card. Isn't that fun? Bring it up so you can see. I think maybe I have my camera like too far away, but, um, but so there it is. Um, thank you very much for watching this video. If you made it the, uh, all the way through. Oh, and I don't know. What do you think? I, I think I might like the darker early espresso, um, on this one over that one. If you would like to hop on over to my blog, and leave me a comment. I will draw for someone to receive uh, this card. And actually, how about I do two drawings and I send it out to one of you can have this one and one will have this one. All right, I will catch you later. Bye.